So that's it for the simple grammar I was going to show you, but I want to emphasize again that we've really, really just scratched the surface. We've just gotten started. Hopefully, though, that's given you an illustration of how we might build up a grammar for English. Let me just mention a few very important things that we've completely missed in this grammar. The grammar completely fails to capture. One very important in, uh, property in language is what's called agreement. So if we look at these two sentences, we have a subject and we have a, a verb. And critically, in English and many, many other languages, there's this property where the subject and verb have to agree. So if I have a plural noun, for example, dogs, I have one form of the verb, which is laugh. If I have a singular noun, dog, I have a different form of the verb. So there's some notion of agreement between the, the noun uh, in the subject and the main verb of the sentence. And the grammar I've just shown you is, has completely failed to capture that constraint. A second very interesting phenomenon uh, is WH movement, which has led to all kinds of uh, interesting realizations about the structure of language. So here's an example. If I say the dog that the cat liked, um, liked is a transitive verb. And in some sense, there's a gap here which is filled by um, the dog. The dog is really the object. The dog is the thing that's being liked here. So you can think of the dog as having moved out of this position. We can think of various other accounts. But there's definitely some kind of hole here which is filled by this phrase earlier. This is called WH movement. Another example is something we've missed. You know, we have active versus passive sentences. We can say the dog saw the cat uh, versus the cat was seen by the dog. And it's really critical to somehow relate these two sentences, identify that they, in some sense, come from the same thing or they have a very, very closely related meaning, uh, perhaps even the same meaning. So if you're interested in reading more, I, I strongly recommend um, picking up an introductory textbook on uh, syntax and linguistics, and one book I'd highly recommend is this, which uh, gives a very um, nice introduction to uh, formal grammar and syntax of language.